A quantum computer is the most powerful computer allowed by the laws of physics. Where does the power come from? An ordinary computer uses bits. There are two states, one and zero. Instead, a quantum computer uses quantum bits called qubits. A qubit uses a special feature of quantum mechanics. Let's think about the spin of an electron. The spin has two states, up and down. But the spin can be in both states at the same time. This property is very useful. In a sense, qubits allow many calculations to be carried out simultaneously. The number of qubits in a fully-fledged quantum computer should be about the same as the number of bits in a regular computer. A ballpark number is a billion. By way of contrast, state-of-the-art quantum processors have at most a few dozen qubits. Upscaling from a few dozen to a billion poses an absolutely massive challenge. From our point of view, the solution is to be found in silicon technology. In project NCCR SPIN, we shall exploit the huge toolbox of the silicon industry to create quantum circuits in a silicon chip. Silicon is a potentially excellent host for a qubit. The key idea is to define the qubit with the spin of a single electron. That said, it's presently unclear exactly which silicon device will work best. We'd like to figure out which design is optimal. A crucial component here is detailed theoretical work. In order to put these plans into practice, we believe that a deep collaboration with an industrial partner, in our case, IBM Research Zurich, is absolutely crucial. IBM is an ideal partner. They have all the know-how and all the tools we need. The plan is to work closely together in order to fabricate the smallest possible silicon transistors. We'll then test these prototype devices in a variety of ways. A key goal is to optimize our designs as quickly as possible by completing a design fabricate test cycle within a few weeks. This deep connection between our industrial partner and the university groups, all managed by the University of Basel, will allow us to make efficient progress. Our goal is very ambitious. Via Project SPIN, we'd like to make key contributions to the development of quantum computing. It will be a long and hard road. Nevertheless, we're looking forward to the moment when the properties of a simple molecule can be simulated. Looking further ahead, the possibilities are absolutely enormous. <laughs>